The old location bar and restaurant situated in Vendok West in the intersection of Dr. Kwame Rako Street in the then whites only area is now visited by those who want to experience at least visually or otherwise the life in old location. The building has been in existence since 1904 and it was a shop then and who would forget 1904, the start of the war of extermination of heteros and namas by the German para forces. Not far from it is a cream building that was in the past used as a police holding cell. What separated the old location from the town before independence is thus small bridge. And it was uh, like a border. You need the permission for a pass to go there. The other side will come this side. So at 7 o'clock, they will get here. Well under renovation and branded old location, the building created curiosity and people started coming in one by one, inquiring and shared their experience of life in the old location then. This is not just a bar but a historical place too, where pictures of heroes and heroines not only of the old location are on display for customers to see and learn history. Pictures on the wall tell the stories of the national liberation struggle against the apartheid regime and the transition to freedom and democracy. It was these memories, along with lessons that Amutheno learned growing up in exile, which triggered the benefiting name of the building. And when you introduce him to join in a rubango, you introduce what the important day that you need to, to remember. And the one is the old location, at the 10th of December, the, the 4th May, the Kasinga, and 26th of August. So after all, I, I said, yes, let's rename, I told my team, let's rename this building to so our foreign hero to go to sacrifice for, for, for independence. A showroom to have more pictures of the liberation struggle beyond the old location on display and make them public memories also in the pipeline. As Namibia marks the 30th anniversary next week, what Amuthen wants is collective efforts to develop the country in honor of those who walked over the small bridge, those who did not live to celebrate and enjoy the freedom and independence of their country.